Okay, so I didn't find much in the way of ammo. I also- oh, god damn it. My finger was on Q instead of- I- well, no, I had one finger on W, but I also had a finger on Q because I've been playing WoW a ton, so I've been strafing a lot, and hit Q instead of W. Lowered the ring finger, not the middle finger. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Hi. Uh, so I didn't find much in the way of crafting materials, but I did find some. Glad to see you alive and well, Artyom. And we have a soap opera on our hands here. Stepan seems smitten by a lady and is trying to get the colonel to let her and her daughter join us on board. Well, I'm gonna do my best to convince the colonel because it would be a good idea to have a nurse. I, we, we have to go back now, I guess. Where, where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well, maybe they. I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. You called me Uncle Artyom. Oh no, you oh, can't call me you Uncle. Worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Yes. Yes, I will. Wow, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Yeah, but I am. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Yep. Uh, also, I have I a gun. I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of okay. course we will. Don't you worry. Where's the carriage? Well, we'll we'll deal with the carriage soon. Anyway, let's go yell at fucking Miller. Hi, Artyom. Alright, welcome to the crew. Uh um Can I Can I please Artyom, come up here. I have something to talk to you about. Hey, yeah. Artyom, see how it all worked out? Yeah. yeah. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Stepan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. 
It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich, no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. I'll take bandits, they Artyom. have ammo. Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. Hey, I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Okay, can I use the workbench now? Great job persuading the old man. God, I can. Cool. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> You will have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Okay, so this needs cleaned bad, Listen, but outside Arthur, of that... I have something for your T-Hog. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Okay, he said he had something for the T-Hog, and I thought I did it, but... Let's just make sure. T-Hog, okay. He gave me the air pri air type pneumatic system. Okay, cool. No longer loses pressure when above normal. Awesome. That's exactly what I want. All right, I have one ball bearing. Though, Anna, so. thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know yeah, what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place, and that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course. God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan. Thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask. There, where the big tanks are. If you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him. A flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they lay up. So pretty. And scary too. A bit. Okay, I'm going to use a bed roll really quick and uh, sleep until morning because uh, it's starting to get dark and uh, I don't know about you, but I'd rather fight the bandits and get more ammo than fight the demons and get nothing. So, there's no bed rolls. Cool. Can I... As soon as it reaches 50, you know... 
The whole thing starts hissing like crazy. Так, 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 let me take a look. Around here. I wonder where could it be. Oh, you have a busted seal right here. See for yourself. Oh, so that's the problem. Hey, Artyomich, I'm making myself useful here. Glad we've got that figured out. <laughs> Only 30 major malfunctions left, huh? Okay, is there a bedroll? Can I sleep here? No, that looks like I should, but... Okay, well, we have that one spot that we can sleep. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspots. I... I'm trying. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. Good luck, Artyom! Yeah, okay. I... was already told that. Okay, what I need to do... Yeah, I know to save the game. I do, all the time. Do I need to save it again? That's a fucking goddammit. They're back. Oh, God damn it! I wonder if I can lead them back to the group. I want to kill these watchmen so I could go into that little safe house that's set up. Great. They won't come towards me. Because it's not set up to do that. Well, shit. Why did the Watchmen respawn? Could use some help, guys. Ah, oh, damn it. They won't come this way. Alright, I guess let's just make a bunch of ball bearings to be able to take them out. Oh, only 30. Great. Okay, this is going better than I thought. How many of them are there, though? Because I saw at least three. I hear more. It's probably a lot more than that. This is all just to get into a safe house to sleep for the day. Until morning, so I can go... Do this thing. <laughs> oh, 
Also, weird how the Watchmen don't go in here. Also, this is, like, radioactive in here. Fuck. I can imagine Dragon's bullshit. Okay. Let's go to daytime. The next morning, so that it's, you know, not immediately going to get dark. Seems like I might have had a lot more time than I thought. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Because, yeah, I would much rather deal... Can I build anything here? Do I have anything to build anything with? No. I got shit. And I've only got four minutes of filter time, too. So that sucks. Alright, no more... Fucking... Guys out here, right? Okay, now where am I going? Going... Also, yeah, that's a Watchman. So I'm going way out, okay. <laughs> Doubly wondering if there's any more bandits at this place now. Because the light's turned on at night, so... Seems like there might be somebody. Doesn't look like it, though. That's a bad sound I don't like. Yeah, I already scavenged you. Alright, so we're heading... Teddy's down there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go get the teddy for sure. I will make that small girl happy. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna run away. See, I didn't go over here. So... God damn it. Now can I... I'm gonna say, can I make it through this without any bullshit, but apparently not. Okay, where are we going for the teddy bear? Through this and over there. So it's over there somewhere. And apparently we have to fight a bunch of demons. There's one. Like literally, as I said, demons.
Okay, whatever. Strip the parts off that thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where is he? Damn it. Artyom, don't die. Okay, one last one. Sounds like he might have fucking given up, though. Yep. Okay. Run his pockets, take his gun mods, and be done with it. Just so I don't walk on that accidentally and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Putting out a fire is like the loudest thing on the planet. Okay, I think I came out of this ahead on rifle ammo. Which I'm not going to complain about. Ooh, better mask. Awesome. Well, let's uh, run their pockets. Steal everything we can from this place and then uh, be done with it. This guy was all armored up. There's also the guy up top that I shot. I don't know if he fell. Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to go up that way. Gotta be a way up there. I see a ladder, so there has to be a way up to him. Well, you know, right here. Or... Fucking not, okay. Huh. There's a zip line over to there from up there. And that goes right to Teddy. So let's uh, raid everything we can and then leave. Because. I don't know about you, but uh, I want to get through this game. And it seems like crafting materials are uh, important. You know? So is this the way up and I'm just missing how to go from here? No? That might be it. I already got you, right? Yeah, I took your shit. Okay. <laughs> this feels like it's not right. But sure. Maybe it is. I don't know. Something over there. There's a zipline going in that direction, too. Ooh, a rifle! Ooh, okay, so that's just like a full-on modded pistol to make it into a rifle. Yep, it's a modded revolver. Cool. Yeah, there's a guy that fucking making pot, pot shots and shit at me. So I think extra mods just get turned into scrap, which, good. Oh, did we get everything? I don't know. Let's just go. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, what? I thought that was like uh, teaching me a mechanic. <laughs> that pop in, though. Okay, so Teddy is somewhere not there. Okay. So Teddy's over there. So what's this area? I don't know who or what was seeing me.
I see somebody up there. I don't know where. Oh, up there. Got him. I know this isn't where Teddy is, but fucking man. Please die, thank you. Oh, I'm out of healing. Should have gotten that guy. Okay, let's try that again. Next time. Have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you.